Hey, what's up guys? I'm from BSC Tech with another short video and in today's video we are going to do short unboxing about Huawei's P40 Lite E-Series. Uh, this phone comes with dual sim standby uh, and uh, it has 4 GB RAM and 64 GB of built-in storage. Uh, this phone unfortunately does not come with uh, Google Play services. So in the second part of the video we are going to show you how you can download and install Google Play services. As you can see that we have the app guide that was officially launched by Huawei. So you can also use this in order to download apps, but there are certain limitations. Uh, moving forward, guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you get all the future notifications. So guys, uh, let's uh, jump into the unboxing and open this box and see what this phone has to offer. Uh, can peel off the sticker at the back and uh, let's see what this phone brings out of the box. Uh, let's put the phone on the side and see what's inside. First of all, we'll have a look at uh, the warranty stickers. Then we have a two pin European charger, which is probably a 0.5 ampere, uh, roughly 90 to 100 minutes to charge from zero to 100 percent. So a big disappointment that this phone does not come with the type C charging port. Uh, we have a warranty card and we have a user manual in different languages and uh, then we have another booklet which has uh, different languages and uh, it will explain what's inside uh, also on this cardboard packaging we have uh, a sim opener tool let's put this on the side and take the box out so guys the first look on Huawei's p40 Lite e-series uh, device does not give you that kind of premium feeling when you hold this phone at the hand uh, this phone uh, seems like uh, a cheap plastic uh, build uh, the back uh, and uh, the overall frame is basically designed with the plastic instead of aluminium uh, the phone uh, is uh, definitely big and it has a 6.39 inch of overall screen size the phone comes with the uh, three camera system at the back and one at the front with the top left hand notch uh, while we have uh, moved basically from the middle to the top left hand side uh, the back camera system is basically a part of three and it has 48 megapixel uh, an 8 megapixel and 2 megapixel with the wide ultra wide and the deep depth sensor on the front we have uh, an 8 megapixel and with both front and back cameras you can record 1080p at 30 frames per second uh, uh, the back has a rear mounted fingerprint scanner and the overall body is to screen to body ratio is 82.4 percent with 176 grams of total body weight since plastic body and plastic frame was used the phone will definitely uh, get a lot of fingerprints and scratches if you don't use uh, uh, a case then uh, obviously accidental drop will cause this phone significant damage uh, let's turn this phone on and see what's inside uh, as per of official specifications on Huawei's website and other online forums. Uh, this phone comes with Android 9 out of the box uh, with uh, uh, standard Huawei's EMUI soft stock software with a lot of uh, unnecessary and unwanted apps already installed on this which is very annoying. As you can see guys that we have uh, uh, EMUI uh, version 9.1.1 which will be updated soon to Android 10 with EMUI version. Let's open the Huawei's uh, uh, app gallery and see if we can download uh, uh, Google Apps or if we can't then we will move on to the next section and I will explain how you can uh, uh, install uh, Google Apps on Huawei's P40 Lite or Huawei's P, uh, P series or any Huawei phones which does not have uh, Google Play services. Uh, one more thing guys, uh, this annoying pop-up message uh, comes in every time I try to open uh, the Huawei's uh, uh, app gallery and uh, let's check if we can find uh, any Google apps on the store. As you can see that the Facebook app I've tried to search and it says that download app from the facebook.com uh, web version and that goes to uh, youtube and other google apps as well because they are banned so guys the right and uh, the correct way to download and install uh, uh, google apps is uh, to use the clone feature on huawei's devices uh, the clone feature is uh, basically a phone clone feature which is already uh, installed on all huawei devices which are basically released without the google play store all you have to do is uh, uh, download clone uh, feature for uh, app on your uh, existing uh, Android device and then open that and scan that and after that you can uh, 
transfer all your data from uh, your old device including apps to your new Huawei device so guys remember to always use the clone app which is official app and uh, Google also has verified this app uh, in order to download and grab the latest uh, Google Apps on your non-supportive Huawei devices uh, which unfortunately no longer support Google Apps and Google Play Store but there is always a risk of downloading uh, the injected malware on your device even though the top apps uh, which people are downloading and uh, installing from uh, third party platforms including the Play Store uh, there's a huge risk that you will download infected applications and uh, games and softwares uh, that will definitely cause uh, serious damage to your personal information so avoid that guys so that was it for today's review if you have any feedback or comments don't forget to leave uh, your comments in the comment section below share your own experience if you face any problem don't forget to ask us we'll try to help you out stay safe take good care of yourself bye bye